Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, the only podcast devoted to making soul music relevant again. Let's get started with your host, Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. My special guest today is a talented singer out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. His name is Sean Matthews. Mr. Matthews, how are you doing today, sir? Good. How are you? Great, great. Thank you for joining the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You sent me some information, um, I guess a couple of weeks ago now, and uh, you have a new single out called Higher. Yes. And we're going to try to play that on this interview. Hopefully we don't get dinged by, uh, by YouTube. Yeah. Uh, but I really love it. Um, so we're going to get into that just a little bit later. But before we do, um, tell us a little bit more about Sean Matthews. Um, well, I'm an artist from uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It's, it's the capital of Pennsylvania. Not many people, a lot of people might not know that, but it's the capital. It's, it's a pretty small town overall. Um, music scene isn't that big around here, but um, I just I just grew up listening to a lot of music. Um, grew up a dancer actually first before even making music, and um, I was just I was listening to a bunch of stuff from like when I was a kid, just Michael Jackson and and Disney Channel pop stars and stuff like that. And then um, over time, I as I grew up, I started discovering artists that I like. Um, Specifically, I think it started with like more rap stuff with like Drake and Kanye and um, yeah. And then uh, I actually started before even making my own music. I was producing first. That's how I originally got into even making music. Um, I started, uh, I was very inspired by people like Kanye West who produces a lot of his own stuff. And um, a guy named John Belly and he's a pop, pop guy. Um, they, they all self-produce and they're all so talented. And just in high school, I was like, okay, I mean, I, it can't hurt to try producing, that looks fun. And um, as I got into it, um, people kind of were like, yo, you should like make your own stuff. And I was like, I mean, I could try. And over time I started trying to um, develop my own sound. And at first I was trying to rap and I was like, uh, rapping, maybe rapping's not for me. And then I tried some singing stuff and then, um, I just, I, as uh, time progressed, um, rap became more or less of just, um, just like bars, like just rapping, like um, your Biggie or Tupac or Jay-Z. It became less of that. And it's now branched into so many different um, subgenres of hip hop with like the, the little Uzis and they're all like melodic rap stuff. So I thought um, just to try and blend a little bit of singing with like, hip hop beats and production and um, then I gradually developed my own sound um, which is what you hear on Higher and the Blue EP in general but yeah okay um, so you are uh, you said you are a dancer as well so you're kind of a double threat you can sing yeah. there yeah I do um, and I also like take part in musicals and things like that um, mm -hmm. just around the area so just all around I just love performing more than anything which i was supposed to do some shows um over the coming months over the summer and stuff but that got canceled out because of COVID. right but right right yeah i was really looking forward to that but yeah yeah when did you know that you could sing um well it actually started with um musical stuff uh when i was in high school i um i always wanted to do musicals but was scared 
and um, there was one show where there was actually a part where there, they needed someone who could rap. And I had a lot of friends in musical and they were like, hey, you should just try for it. I mean, it, it can't be that hard. And I was like, okay. So I tried for it and I got that role where you rap. And, um, and because of that, because in musicals you generally have to sing also, I ended up having my first experience actually singing. And uh, over time, I did more musicals through high school and over the summer. And I realized I, I can sing to, an ex to a certain extent, even though sometimes I might not think I'm as that good. But um, yeah, I realized I could sing and then started developing my own sound with the singing and the rap beats and stuff like that. Okay. Um, so, Sean, uh, don't mind me asking, how, how old are you? I'm 20. 20, I'm okay. Yeah. And higher, is this your first uh, release? This isn't my first release. Uh, my first release was back 20, I think it was 2019 or 2018, January. Um, that was my first release. And it was a song called Pastime. That was all self-produced, um, all written by me, mixed and everything. I did everything from my bedroom right here, actually. And um, yeah, and then uh, over time, I, my sound started developing into what it is on um, higher and the EP in general. Okay. So, yeah. Did you um, did you come from a musical family? Is there a family in the music or? I my parents aren't specifically from music, but I have um, just all side from my mom's side, especially. Um, they they are all musicians in church and stuff like that, guitar and singing in church and uh, piano and things of that nature. But my parents actually never did any like performance at all. So for me to be in it is a new thing for my parents. Okay. Um, you know, when I, when I hear your song, Higher, um, uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, Bruno Mars. Um, mm -hmm. Is that... Yeah, he's uh, definitely... Are you a fan of Bruno Mars? Yeah, he's, he's amazing, man. Like, he dances too, which is like, he, he's such an inspiration. Um, yeah, I just, he's amazing, yeah. He's one of my favorite artists. Him, uh, Bruno Mars, Chris Brown also, just dancers. They just make me, like, they, they inspire me, people who can dance and perform, and they're like the whole package. Those are just like, those, those guys are crazy. Um, some other inspirations of mine are uh, Fozzy, he's a pop R&B artist. Um, Brockhampton, they're a group actually, they're a rap group, which is, they're really amazing. Um, who else? Uh, Khalid, I don't know if you're familiar with Khalid, he's a big pop R&B guy. Um, these guys are the ones that inspire me the most, I think, my sound and overall, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me now, you said you, you, this is not your first release. Uh, how did your, uh, what was the name of your first uh, song? Pastime. Pastime. Pastime, right. <laughs> How did that do? Um, was it just played locally or? That, um, yeah, for the most part, it was a it was a very local release. Um, I was I was very new into making the music and how to market it and things like that. So at that time, I I didn't do the best as I have been with um, the Blue EP and Higher and songs like that. Um, but from the people who listened to it, they liked it. Though I don't, I'm not a big fan of it anymore. For me, it's like. When I make something, I'm like, I'll I'm listen to it so much during the mixing process and and all that stuff that by the time it comes out, I'm like, hey, I'm I'm, I'm ready for the next thing. But um, yeah. Okay. Um. So there's no possibility that you're gonna re-release it uh, now yeah. that you know more about how the business and how the marketing it's, works. It's very possible. I might I might even just redo the song. Okay. Complete, like production, mixing, everything, and um, just give it a new, just breathe new life into it. Um, and then, and yeah, possibly re-release it that way, but not like the same song. I wouldn't, I don't think I would re-release the same exact song like that, but um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us about Hire. Um, now yeah. you said you did all the, did you produce that by yourself or did you? Um, in terms of production, the, the, beat and stuff that was me for the most part except the baseline um so i signed with um Vail records uh earlier this year i think in february and um basically they gave me people that i could collaborate with which was 
the, the best thing because I was always just working in my room alone. It was just me and my ideas, but it was cool to actually collaborate with other people and get their ideas and input on everything. And um, originally, like, Hire wasn't even gonna be released um, just because I, the beat that was on it before was very, um, it was me trying to experiment with more um, guitars and things like that. And uh, I just felt like it lacked the energy when um, the original production of it. But then we, we workshopped it again and um, we, we sped it up a little bit and we did the beat from scratch again. And uh, well, I did the beat from scratch, but um, then I had someone else, just so that has that um, organic element, I had someone else put a bass line on it, a real bass line, um, which you can hear in the verses. Um, in the drop, it's an 808 bass, but uh, yeah. That's how that, that, that came together. Um, it, that was co-written with someone named Kylie Fernandes. Um, me and her were just in the studio. We we're like, let's make a song about um, just like just a positive, uplifting song because most of the songs on the EP are actually like pretty like sad boy songs you could say. And um, so we we're like, this is in the middle of the in the runtime, so this could be like a turning point where it's like it just has a more positive message to it. And um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I listened to it a few times and it, and it definitely worked. So uh, yeah. congratulations on that. It's a great song. Thank you. Thank you. I really um, is it is it out already or is it being yeah. released later? Or it, Yes, it is out um, right now. It's on all streaming services, Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, um, Tidal, everything. Um, so, yeah, even on SoundCloud, even on SoundCloud. But um, yeah, it's there. It's there everywhere. Yeah. Okay. And so you said it's... Uh, are there um, other songs to follow? Um, yeah, um, this is actually off of an EP that's out right now called Blue. Um, it's a six song EP, and uh, I believe this is like track four, if I'm correct. It's track four. Um, the song is just, uh, just <clears throat> like my experiences through the years with um, relationships in general, and um, just like, it, it kind of, it's, it starts darker with a song called Down Bad and it's kind of, kind of goes through the shades of blue so you get to like the lighter side with higher and some of the um, latter songs toward the end. Um, but yeah, yeah. Okay. So it, it sounds like you put a lot of thought into the, uh, to the concept. To, yeah, uh, to I did. Play. I, at first it was very, um, uh, it was like, we were just trying to make songs. We were just like, okay, let's make these songs. These are thoughts I've felt over the years, um, feelings I felt over the years. And um, we were just like, let's let's see what we have and we'll go from there. And while coming up with titles, I was just thinking like, I, I, I'm very bad with like naming things. So it was like, what do we name it? And then I was, my favorite color is blue too. As you can see, even my room is blue. But um, yeah, so I was just like, why don't we name it Blue? And uh, the, the way it works already, it's just like the songs start darker and then they get lighter towards the end. So that follows the whole concept. But that's how the, the EP concept came together. Okay. And so um, Vail, you said you're signed with uh, Vail Records. Is that a local uh, yeah. record company or? Yes, it is a um, local record company uh, in Anvil, PA, actually, a couple, maybe 30 minutes from where I live. Okay. And uh, so Blue is already out as well? Yes, it is. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, Sean, walk me through uh, your writing style, because mm -hmm. Higher is very up, upbeat, and yeah. um, like I said, it's a great song, and... Um, thank you, thank you. I'm going to get a chance to play it here in a minute, but yeah. um, walk me through your writing. How long did it take you to um, first to finish the EP, but mm -hmm. then more specifically, how long did it take you to complete higher? Um, so the EP, I think we started it, um, I want to say February. Yeah, I think we started it in February. We finished it um early april mid-april and i think it um no early april and then we released it um late april uh one song was was already basically done before we even start working on the ep overall my goal is always to try and release a song a month 
at, at minimum. That's my goal. And I had this song ready to be released as the song for um, February and not higher, uh, another song called Down Bad. And um, yeah, so that came, that was like the first song that um, started everything. And then as for higher, the way that worked was, like I said, I told, I told the person I co-write with, um, let's make this song something that's different from everything else. And usually it's beat first. I'll uh, have beats. We I played a couple beats and we were like, okay, let's let's write on this one. So um, I think within like two hours, maybe we we wrote the entire song from top to bottom, and then um, yeah, we wrote the song from top to bottom in two hours, and that was it. But it sounded production-wise, like I said, it sounded completely different before. It was very, um, in my opinion, it was kind of boring, but with adding the drop and stuff. It, it wasn't so electronic before, that's the main thing. And um, so after making those changes, I just felt like I had a lot more energy. And it was, uh, yeah, that's how that song came together. Okay, so obviously um, you're pleased with the, the way it turned out. Yeah, definitely. definitely. And even actually, sorry, uh, I didn't tell this, but the feature on it, I don't know if you, uh, so the person on there, her, Kylie, her name's Tye, her artist name, but she was the one who co-wrote it with me. And okay. um, we decided after redoing the production and everything, we decided that it, it had like a two minute runtime, I believe, barely two minutes. So it was like, we need a feature. And I, I just thought because she co-wrote it with me, it was, only, it was only right for her to be on it. And it just added another element, which uh, it wouldn't have been as good without it. Yeah, most definitely. She um, she has a different uh, different element to the song, which is great. Um, are you guys gonna do some more collaborating um, going yeah. down the road? Um, yeah, she, she we we are definitely um, working on some other stuff. Uh, she's working on her own music right now, her own EP, and um, I'm producing some of that stuff for her, uh, just because I started as a producer and produced my own stuff. But um, yeah, so I'm producing some of that stuff for her. Uh, she helped. She actually co-writes with me on majority of the songs um, that we that I released since okay. joining Mail. But yeah. Okay. So it sounds like you uh, you also you like writing for other other artists. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, I definitely enjoy. I enjoy producing for other people so much because it allows me to like do stuff that I normally wouldn't make for myself. So it's like if I work with a rapper, I can make them like whatever they, they want to trap stuff like I can make them that they want some boom bap stuff I can make them that or if someone um wants like some indie stuff I'll make some indie stuff with some um not real drums but acoustic drums from um the doll I use and um try to put some guitars on that for them and stuff so yeah I, I definitely love producing for other people it just allows me to do stuff I wouldn't do for myself normally so it's fun okay well we're gonna we're going to pause right here. We're going to uh, attempt to play higher. Uh, this is Sean Matthews and higher. Enjoy. Another day, another night. Another night. More thoughts, keep it inside. inside. Silent, I don't want to hide. Save it all for another ride. Down bad, I don't wanna run Given how far I've come Would it kill me to have fun? I see it all, I just want some Found a picture of you in my pocket Remind me of you when I bought it For now, I pretend I never saw it Took a look, but now I gotta toss it One step, try a little bit harder One more, go a little bit farther Try my best, stepping out of the fire a little more, a little bit higher A little more, a little more Of you in my pocket. 
remind me of you when I bought it For now I pretend I never saw it Took a look but now I gotta toss it One step, try a little bit harder One more, go a little bit farther Try my best, stepping out of the fire A little more, a little bit higher A little more, a little more We'll continue our episode after this message. Swag at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com Now, back to our conversation. All right, we're back. Um, Sean, that's a, a great song, uh, Higher. And you said that can be picked up at all the uh, streaming services? Yes, yes. Okay, just curious. Um, what kind of reception have you gotten since it's been released? I know it's um, still kind of early, but yeah, uh, this is this has been probably my biggest song. I think this is the first. This is the quickest I've been to like a thousand streams, um, and that's I don't even know what it is combined. But I, I know on each platform, I think I've hit a thousand at at a minimum. I, I haven't checked it in a bit, but um, yeah, I think that was the quickest I made it, and I think that was in like a week or two. Um, and it only went up more after the EP um, wow. got released. But uh, yeah, it's everyone's loved it. A lot of people say it's my best one, um, best produced, and everything like that. So I'm glad. I'm glad people loved it. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like you had somewhat of a following before um, mm -hmm. before this release. Yeah, um, I had a, I had a slight following. Um, mainly, yeah, at first it was mainly just friends. Like back when I released the first song and stuff, um, just whoever went to whoever I went to high school with and stuff like that um but over time I think I've I've made connections with different people um whether it's through music or dance or musical theater or whatever it is that um I've I've gained fans and they've showed it to their friends and um it's been cool to see like how many people are actually listening to it um just at this level so I just I just hope it it can just go bigger than that even yeah, well, you know, um, social media helps too in that regard. Yeah, too, so. for sure. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, I know with you know COVID nineteen, Corona, um, mm -hmm. it's probably delayed the you know getting out there and promoting it, touring at least physically. Um, yeah. How do you plan on, or is there a plan to get out there and promote it? Like for example, through IG Live or some other some other instrument how do you plan on promoting this great song you have well um originally the plan was uh to do there was going to be a show um literally the weekend like everything got shut down that weekend we were supposed to do a single release show for the for the song and um sadly it got canceled like that week and uh, um we thought we'd be able to do it when we get back um but that didn't happen either. We were supposed to do even an EP release show, and that got canceled. And um, but the plan is, um, as of right now, though I don't know, I don't know when things will start opening up more. Um, is a fall-ish, springish tour um, coming up? Um, just a local tour um, around the PA area, um, possibly a New York stop, New Jersey stop. Um, yeah that's that was the original plan right now we're trying to do like um we're trying to do tiktok stuff we're trying to do um yeah we're just trying to we're just trying to pitch it to people uh do tiktok stuff i do at some point i'm trying to put together a like beat breakdown just because like i produced um all my stuff i feel like it'd be cool to show everyone like all the layers and the mixing that went into it and how um 
this is how it all came together um, in the in the logic file because just uh, like I said, looking up to like Kanye and John Bellion, it was cool to see like videos of them just like just like making beats. They're like for them to show their screen and show like what their file looks like and all the layers that are in it, which um, I think that would be a cool way to promote it. Um, but yeah, mainly TikTok is like a big thing now where it's like if your like thing goes even just a tiny bit viral on there, like you're gonna gain like a, a thousand fans minimum. So <laughs> it, it would be cool to like have it blow up on there just a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we're trying right now. Just uh, just videos and things, hopefully a music video over the summer. That's definitely something we're trying for. But yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's kind of tough when uh, yeah. you can't really do anything. But, um, but I mean, you know, people are coming up with innovative ways to, uh, you know, to promote their stuff. And so hopefully, um, you know, we're going to do our part here. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's a great song. I think people will, will really enjoy it. And hopefully they'll flock to it. Um, now, you said you wanted to release a song a month. Are you still yeah. on that? Yes. Three or um, we are. Uh, though we're we're um, waiting right now. We don't feel like it is appropriate to be releasing music. Just right. like everything going around, um, going on in the country, it's just it's just not right right now. So um, we're definitely going to give it some time. Um, the goal is, uh, yeah, to release a song a month still. Like hopefully July or August. Um, possibly a remix of one of the songs. Um, off of the EP, that'll probably be the first thing to come out, and then um, yeah, we're just working on working on putting together new sounds too. Um, I, I had a lot of stuff like ready to release, which um, after sitting with it for a while, I just was like, I I just don't feel it anymore. Um, and plus, I feel like I don't want new stuff to sound like the old stuff. I, I want it to be when people hear the new stuff. It should be a new sound from from me as an artist. Um, that's that's what I like from artists. Artists that like reinvent their sound, and even if it's just a slight change. So um, yeah, we're just right now we're working on sonically what to do next. Um, just running through ideas right now, and hopefully we'll have new music out during the summer, and um, possibly an EP, even maybe fall. We'll see. But yeah. 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 Um, well, <clears throat> like I said, you're not the only one who's in the same boat. There's a, you know, a lot of artists that um, that we interview here um, who say pretty much the same thing, like word for word, that you yeah. just can't, can't do anything. But you know, maybe you know, thinking about it positive, positively, um, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you can kind of build up some more. Um, more attention, more excitement about your stuff. And yeah, true, true, true. So when you get back out there, there's this this uh, need to see you. Yeah. So uh, good luck with that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Anything else you want to add, Sean? Before we. Uh, um, I think I think I'm good. I think I think we covered everything for the most yeah. part. Yeah. And do you have a website that people can go check out? Yes, um, it's seanrmatthews.com. Oh. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Yeah. All right. And you're on all the social media. Yeah. The Facebook. I'm, I'm on Instagram, yeah. Snapchat, uh, Twitter, uh, TikTok. On t uh, is it okay to plug my like handle? Yeah. yeah. Um, TikTok is uh, Sean Matthews, S H A W N M A T H E W S. Um, Instagram is seanrm19, Twitter is seanrm19. Um, YouTube is just Sean Matthews. If you look, uh, look me up there and yeah, that's, that's basically all of it. Okay. And so, uh, we'll have links as well in the mm -hmm. show notes on our YouTube channel and also on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Uh, please subscribe and like Sean, um, brand new artist, 20 years old, just getting started, putting out great music. So I'm sure people will enjoy it. Sean. Appreciate you taking the time today, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you inviting me on here. Yeah, no, but thanks for sending me the information and uh, responding. Yeah. Um, we're going to, uh, that's Sean Matthews.
on the Bring Back Soul Music podcast, and we'll be right back. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Mr. Sean Matthews. You can find out more about Sean on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Closing out today's show is Sean Matthews and another song from his new EP called Blue. This is called Erase It. My name is Todd Woodson. See you next week. Yeah. Mm-hmm.